guys, Kelly Fab, and again, I'm gonna do another declutter. I'm gonna do my eyeliners. So I have all of my like pencil liners here, here, and here. I have liquid liners here in this section. Um, I have my shadow sticks here. I have mascaras here and eyebrow products here. So what I'm gonna do, same as normal, I am going to put all of my keep stuff, I'm gonna try to slide these down a little bit, I'm gonna put all my keep stuff in here so you guys can see what I'm keeping along the way. I'm going to put all my get rid of stuff probably over here, I'll make like a little section over here so you guys can see what I'm getting rid of. So let's jump right into this. So first off, I know for a fact I am gonna keep all of these mascaras so these two are obviously still brand new in the boxes i'm not going to take them out of the boxes until i'm ready to use them it is the tarte lights camera splashes the waterproof mascara and this is the urban decay perversion mascara i've never tried this one then i have the ampla mascara amplifying mascara serum um i'm really curious about this so i think i got this in a boxy charm so i want to try this then I have the Tarte Gifted Mascara. I want to try that. I just got this Essence Lash, Lash Princess Mascara. Everybody raves about this, so I'm excited to keep using that. I got the Laura Geller Drama Lash Maximum Volumizing Mascara. And this Great Lash Mascara in Fairy Black. Then this one is the Lash Craft Mascara for length and volume from the Sephora collection. I love this one. So I am going to be keeping all of these mascaras. And I'm actually going to put them right back in the same container that I got them out of. Because they fit perfectly in here. Minus this one box that doesn't want to fit perfectly in there. It drives me crazy. It's just the one box. Just the one. Anyways, I'm gonna keep all these mascaras. On to the brow products. So I have two brow pencils or tools, pencils, I don't know, whatever you wanna call them. They both have the spoolie on one end and then they have like the angled flat brush on the other end. This brush from the Brow Gal is really, really soft and flexible. And then this one from Elizabeth Mott is very stiff and harsh. Um, I like having the two different versions. I like the stiff one if I'm going to use like a, like a pomade type of um, eyebrow gel is what I meant to say. Oh my gosh. And then this one I like for my powder. So I'm definitely going to keep both of these. And then I have the Brow Gal by... Tanya Crooks and this is my little brow powder. I actually mix all three of these colors. I use this red, the lighter, and the brown. Yeah, so I'm definitely going to keep this whole little palette. I love this little thing. Then I have two brand new products. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hill Brow Wiz and I got the shade Soft Brown. Medium Brown looked too dark for me. So I am going to take this one out of here since I don't have an eyebrow pencil that I'm using right now. So yeah, I'm going to probably put this in my collection here very soon. And then I have, I might as well just take this one out too because I'm definitely going to use it. This is the ColourPop Brow Pencil in the shade Dope Taupe. This is like a lighter, perfect color for my skin tone. I really do enjoy this. So I'm going to put this in my collection. Then I have these ones. <laughs> this is where it gets more annoying. So this is from Chella. This is the Tantalizing Taupe Eyebrow Cream. Okay, so... It's very weird because it's got like the eyebrow brush on this side, but then it's got like a pomade in this side and you're supposed to dip it in there and put it on. It looks crazy on me. It's way too dark. It is not a taupe color <laughs> whatsoever. This one is going to go by. Um, this e.l.f. eyebrow pencil in the shade neutral brown, I feel feel like this was too dark for me. Yeah, this is way too dark for me and it's a very, very like stiff, not very creamy um, color. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. Then this is the MAC eyebrow pencil in the shade Spiked. This one is also way too dark for me. 
It looks like it's going to be good, but when you put it on, it looks crazy on me. My husband asked me why my eyebrows looked so weird when I wore that one day. So I'm going to get rid of that one. Then I have this one, Inky Lux. And I didn't give this one a fair shot yet, but it's so dry. Like, I don't know if everybody else is having this issue, but I can't even, like, get a swatch. There we go. If I, like, hurt my hand, I can get a swatch. I just, I don't want to work that hard for an eyebrow pencil. And there's a little spoolie on the end, which I appreciate, but it's just so dry. So I'm going to get rid of that. And this is the, uh, from the Brow Gal. This is the Clear Eyebrow Gel. Um, I'm gonna keep this. I haven't used it yet. It's like brand new, literally brand new. I have not used this once, so I'm gonna keep this in my collection. So I feel pretty good about that. I got rid of four eyebrow, you know, things that I am not gonna use, so awesome. <laughs> Let's keep going. I'm gonna zoom you in for the rest of this. Okay, so now, I sorry, I kind of rearranged my stuff here, but I put the stuff that I'm getting rid of right here, stuff that I'm keeping is here, and then the stuff I need to go through is here. That way you can be a little bit more zoomed in. So next I want to go through these little like shadow sticks. I don't have many because I don't really like them that much. This is from Ico London and it is in this shade. It's like a gray shade. Okay, I think this was the problem when I actually originally got this. There's no shade name on here and I can't figure out anything that would be its shade name. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to get rid of this. It's brand new. I've not used it. I think I swatched it maybe one time, but honestly, I've never used it. So I'm going to get rid of that. This one is the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in the shade Rose Gold. I love this one. You can clearly see it's been very well loved and... There it is there. It's like a really light gold shade. I really like this. So, and I like the fact that it's a little mini travel size, so I don't feel like I have too much to use. So I'm gonna keep that one. Then this is the Essence Stays No Matter What Eye Pencil and Shadow. I use this for Halloween, but I just, I don't like it. I love the shade. I just don't like how it wears on my face. So I'm going to get rid of this one. This is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade 626 Night, K-N-I-G-H-T. And I love that it's like a sparkly black. It's so cool. I think this would be a perfect base for a dark eyeshadow look. So I'm going to keep that. Then I have two of these Beauty For Reals. I got these in subscription boxes. So the lighter one is in the shade Ever Starstruck. And then the darker one is in the shade Midnight Marathon. So yeah, let's swatch these. I don't, I don't remember disliking these, but I don't remember loving these either. So this is the lighter one. Oh yeah, I did use that on my inner corner and I did like that one. And the darker one, I, it looks like I've definitely used it before. Yeah, that's a really pretty color, and I think I'm going to keep both of those. Try them out. And then this last, last one is from Thrive Cosmetics. I also got this in a beauty box subscription. This is in the shade Stella, and I've used this for my inner corner before as well. And it's really, really pretty. It doesn't have so much shine. It's more neutral and natural looking, which I really appreciate. So I'm going to keep that one. I can't believe I only got rid of two. Okay, I guess I'll move on to liquid liners. So this is a brown liquid liner. It's actually very good and very natural looking, but I don't think I'm ever going to wear a brown liquid liner. Um, oh, this is from Aurora, by the way, in the shade Cinnamon. This is from L'Oreal Paris, and this is the Voluminous Liner Noir. This is from like that cat collection. It's such a good liner. I hated it at first, and then I started liking it. So I think I'm going to keep that one. This, or where am I putting these? This is from the Aurora collection as well, and this is in the shade Blackberry. I love this one. Look how black that is. It's so gorgeous. It looks great on the eyes. I really enjoy that one. This is the Ico London Skinny Eyeliner in black, and I've used this a couple times. It's very, very black. It dries really well. I'm gonna keep that. Just a little sample size. I just picked this one up. It's the Essence Dip Eyeliner, and this is obviously in the shade black. 
and this has like a weird tip like I don't even know how to explain it it's such a strange tip but I'm gonna keep it and try it out and test it and see if I like it I typically don't like dip liners like this but I wanted to pick it up and try it out and see how I liked it then I have three of these essence um, eyeliners, liquid liners. These two are in the super fine collection and then this one is in the um, waterproof collection. So this is the only waterproof liquid liner I have. It's really, really good. And then these two are like the super skinny tip. Do you guys see how skinny that tip is? It's crazy. So I can get a really, really nice wing with this skinny little tip. I just want to test them both out and make sure they're not um, yeah, they're both perfect. Make sure they're not uh, dried out because that would be pointless to keep dried out eyeliner. So got rid of one liquid liner, not doing as good. <laughs> I thought I was going to do so much better on this declutter, but I use this stuff. So, uh, you know, okay. So now I'm going to go on to my colored eyeliners that are like the gel or the Kajal, Kajal form. This one is from Maybelline, it's the Lasting Drama, and I love this shade because it's like, it brightens your eyes type of shade. You guys see that there? If you put this on the waterline, it looks so good. So I'm going to keep that. This one is also the Maybelline Lasting Drama. Oh, this was in the shade, sorry guys. This one is in the shade Soft Nude, it's such a perfect color for the waterline. This one is in the shade striking copper and i love shades like this for my waterline they just look so good that like harsh metallic color i love it keeping that this one's a green one from essence this is the essence effect eye pencil it says long lasting on it and is in the shade iron hulk i just think that's such a cool name and i've used this many times enough that I need to sharpen it apparently. Yeah, I definitely need to sharpen this guy. Well, I remember I remember why I wasn't using this very much because when you sharpen it, it just it's not the same as it was when it was first done. So I am going to get rid of this one. This one's completely brand new. I haven't even opened it yet because I have other blue eyeliners I'm trying to use. So I'm going to keep that. This one is the Bare, Mineral, Bare Minerals Round the Clock 4AM eyeliner. And it is in the shade... I want to say the shade is 4AM. I feel like that's the shade. But here, let me give you that beautiful blue swatch. Definitely keeping this little sample. Okay, this one is the CoverGirl Perfect Point Plus pencil and it's in the shade 225 Plum Violet. And I just remember this was like really harsh on my eyes. Um, not the color, but the pencil itself. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. This one is the e.l.f. It's got like a dual side. So it's got a liner side and it's got a shadow side. And I believe this one is in the plum purple. So the little shadow stick is here. It's like a very muted plum color. And then the liner is a darker purple. This is the kind of soft purple that I would wear. So I'm going to keep this one. <clears throat> This is another one of these e.l.f. duos, and this one's in brown and basic, so the shadow side is basic, and it's like a coppery, really pretty, pretty shade. Kind of like the copper one from Maybelline, but it's a shadow stick instead of a liner. And then this one is the brown eyeliner. It's a lighter brown. I really like this for my eyes. It kind of brightens them up a little bit. Then I have the Ofra eyeliner in the shade Green Go, and this one's different looking. It's a very olivey green with like a sparkle to it. I do like this one. I haven't tried it on my waterline yet, so I'm excited to try that. This one I know I'm for sure keeping. It is the Urban Decay 24-7 waterline in the shade Walk of Shame, and this is like the perfect nude for the waterline. Like... It's such a flat, matte, like just plain nude color right there. I love it. So definitely keeping that one. I only got rid of two colored eyeliners out of all those. I'm going to tell you guys right now, <laughs> I am not getting rid of any of these ColourPop liners. I love all these colors. I just, yeah, I, 
I'm not going to get rid of any of these. I know I have some duplicates in here, but those are the shades that I wear all the time. I know I have a bunch of browns. I just, I love these. These ColourPop liners are the best formula for my eyes. They don't irritate. They do need to get reapplied like throughout the day. So I just bring it with me and I reapply it whenever I feel like I need to. But honestly, these ones are the one brand that I know for sure will not irritate my eyes. So I'm going to definitely keep all of these. And I store them like this so I can see the color, which is annoying because they do, if you guys know ColourPop eyeliners, they break uh, like really, really easily. But I've got tons of them here, so I'm going to keep all of these. I already know, so I'm just going to put them right in my little, my little container there. And now I want to go through the black. I do have a black ColourPop eyeliner in the shade Swerve, but that's in my 12 pans of Christmas, so I'm going to keep that in there. But... This is like a double-ended, dual-ended one. Um, this has got black on one side and cobalt on the other. I remember the black. Yeah, the black is like a super black. And the cobalt's really pretty too. But the, oh no, the cobalt is like, hurts my hand. So I'm not going to keep this for the black. I've got a bunch of black eyeliners that I really like. Okay, so if you guys know how to use this Benefit Their Real Push-Up Liner, please let us know down below. I don't know how to use this and it won't rotate or anything, so I'm really confused. And it's like really flexible. I'm not sure how to use this, so somebody please let me know how to use this little Benefit Push-Up Liner. It's a little sample size. I don't know how to use it, but I want to figure it out. So somebody please let me know in the comments down below. Okay, so we have this IT Cosmetics No Tug Waterproof Gel Eyeliner in the shade Black. All these are going to be in the shade like Black or Noir or whatever. Um, just know that these are all like the black shades. Um, I love this one. It's so nice. I haven't tried it on the waterline. I've only tried it like on the, my, the top of my lid, but I'm going to keep that one. Then I have this Perfect Point Plus. This was the same as that other purpley one. And this one is really creamy. It like, it doesn't irritate and I think I'm going to keep this. This is a good drugstore one. Then I have this Perfect Point Plus. Oh, sorry. This is in the shade blue. It's a really pretty blue. Sorry. I thought I had all the blacks out of there. This one I haven't opened yet. It's from Bella Pierre. I want to give this one a shot. Then I have this one in e.l.f., the duo one. This is in the shade Black and Smoke. This smoke color is like the coolest gunmetal, like silvery color. I love it. And then it almost has like a bluish hue to it. I don't know. I really like it. And then the liner is really good. It's just a black liner. I think this is a really good little dual ended tool there. This one's from Hikari. This one's one of my absolute favorites. It's so creamy and black, black. I just, I really like this one from Hikari. There's not much product in here. It's a little sample size. Then I got this one from Wet n Wild, the Coal Eyeliner in Baby's Got Black, which I think is the coolest name ever. But I got this for Christmas, not for Christmas. I got this for Halloween to use on my son and myself for our little Halloween looks. And it turned out to be the most amazing pencil liner ever. Like, look at how black that is. Holy crap. I used quite a bit of this. This was actually a bit longer. I sharpened this about three or four times already. So I know I really like this and I know it doesn't irritate our skin because I used it on both of our eyes and it was fine. This one's from Lorac and it is the front of the line pro eyeliner and if I can get it open, there we go. I love these ones, but unfortunately I got the one with glitter in it and I think it's cool and it works for the top of my eyes, but it doesn't work for the bottom of my eyes, but these are like 20 bucks. So I'm going to keep this and use it. Then I got this perfect blend, um, pencil crayon. This one's kind of rough when I put it on my hand, it's not very soft. So I'm going to get rid of this one. This one's from Beauty For Real, and it's the Eyeline 24-7 Eyeliner. This one's really thick and creamy, but the most important thing about this one, it's like the blackest eyeliner I have. Even blacker than Swerve, which I feel like is a really black eyeliner. I love this Beauty For Real one. 
Then this very last one I actually just picked up um, not too long ago. It is the Essence Extreme Lasting Gel Pencil in the shade 01 Black Love. And this one's so soft. Like, it's the gentlest eyeliner ever. And it's very black as well. So definitely going to be keeping this and trying this one out. I'm really still bugged about this darn... I don't know how to how do you use this it's a push-up liner how do you use a push-up liner okay so all in all i did not do as well as i thought i would do but i did get rid of quite a few items that i know for sure i'm just not going to be using um all of the this is these two shadow sticks all of these are eyeliners and then all these are brow products i didn't get rid of any mascaras which i'm fine with because i go through mascaras pretty quickly and then there's this guy that I cannot figure out how to use and it's really making me mad so somebody please tell me how to use that if you are familiar with it I would really appreciate finding out how to use this little sample size but anyways these are all the items I'm keeping I'm keeping quite a few and I'm actually really happy about the items that I did decide to keep and yeah, so thank you guys so much again for watching and subscribe below and check out my other videos and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.